Question 204. Okay. Yes. How do you feel about cars becoming fully autonomous, having no steering wheels, brakes, or accelerators? No, no, no. No, no. Are we doing this? Are we really... Are we... This is how do you feel about us... it? I'm going to give a simple answer. I believe that you cannot completely remove the human aspect out of anything when it comes to something built by man. Yep. Okay. Or even if oh, it no. was built by something that was built by man. Well, I don't understand how you remove the human aspect from anything. In that, in that, if, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I get what you're uh, saying. Uh, Go on, sorry. Well, you, okay, you need to be able answer. to. Sorry. Go, oh, sorry, say, you need to be. You need to be able to stop the vehicle in case of emergency or something like that. You, you know, for whatever crazy reason, Dave decides to hack into your car, and you're sitting here trying to. You can't stop the vehicle. You know, you you see something that. Yeah, but you can have an emergency know. stop button. Yeah. Well, you, you, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, there, there's too many. There's there needs to be a lot of fail safes, and you need to have the ability to take control. Because there's intuition that a machine can't have. Right, because if it's... Yeah, it, yeah. yeah but the intuition are... a machine has is better. Intuition is the wrong yeah. word there. Um, yeah, there, that's programming, not intuition. No, that's my point. I was, I, I, <laughs> and yours isn't. We are basically just big, big fucking computers. Um, organic ones, yes, but big fucking computers. Our, our, our intuition is an evolved thing, and computers can evolve their algorithms. I don't see this as a problem. Where I see the problem is mixing automatic driving with human driving. We need a, a straight out, no more human drivers, everything's computer driven. Then you get rid of all the problems, because the problems aren't going to be the computers driving the vehicles, it's going to be the fucking humans. Yeah, but then you're going to have the trolley problem because I'm going to tell you this much: the robots more likely going to choose the lesser of the the casualties. Yeah. Well, no, this is where, yeah, where's I, where I, I we've for... discussed this at length because I think <laughs> I because the point yeah, is there are people like me that would hack it to solve that in my favor. Yeah, right. Um, and humans don't do the right thing with the trolley problem either. No, that's the we problem. We know this. It's been tested properly. Humans do the option that means do nothing. Yeah. On the whole, we we choose to do nothing. At least the computer will do something. Yes, it will try. Mm -hmm. It will try. It will try to do its best. Humans panic and don't do. They try to usurp responsibility, try to pass it off to somebody else until it's over, and then they say, Oh, I could have done something, but I didn't. Because not this to, is what we do. Not to dive too much into my nerdiness, but anybody else that's played Fallout 4, there's an there's a DLC, you know, called you know Automaton. And what ends up happening is the programmer programmed these robots to protect humanity. Well, in you know, the robots eventually understood that to protect humanity from themselves, you'd have to wipe them out. Yeah. Right. You're talking about a game, not reality. No, but this this experiment oh, has awesome. been written on before. That's where it came from. That's yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a game. It's a fantasy. It's still not reality. It is fantasy. It's still not reality. reality. Would you trust? Yeah. Let's, 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 we're going to skip to skip to other people. Because I've, mostly the, the aim of this one wasn't to, to, to deal, delve into the ethics, but more the personal opinions. Fine. Yeah. And we've done YouTube Fine, to please. death. And me. Sal. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. Go on. No, no, no. I, I, I was going to bring a plane into it. So if we we're going to go completely anonymous, uh, autonomous, would you try? Would you trust it to land itself? Planes are now landing themselves. Yeah, they already do. But, <laughs> uh, all right, I get that. Um, are 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 they, are they passenger planes landing themselves? Yes. All right, I didn't know that. Now, don't get me wrong. Right now, there are people. Uh, that there are pilots still on the plane watching over it. I mean, there was someone that made a joke, uh, a former pilot that said, uh, in the future in aeroplanes, in the cockpit, you are going to have the uh, the autopilot, a pilot, and a dog. The autopilot is to, fly, is to fly the plane, the pilot is to watch the autopilot, and the dog is to bite the pilot if it tries to do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because oh. pilots are what cause the accidents, rarely the autopilot. No. And if the autopilot causes an accident, it's usually not because of the programming of the autopilot. It's usually because some aircraft mechanic fucked up. Mm. 
they stuck their hand in. That I agree with. Because when you're, I've yeah. been in a plane in autopilot, and the moment you touch something, that's it. Yeah, you're, you're going down. So yeah. Uh, but I didn't uh, know and, if you were landing passenger planes autonomously. That I didn't know. I thought we were still landing the manual. Yeah. Mm, no, 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 no. Lots of them now. Because it's exactly the point is you want them to come in exactly the same. It's better than a road yeah. because there are no options. No, yeah? I'm talking about the actual like like. I'm not talking about like the mechanical aspect. I'm talking about like calculating to like bringing it down. Yeah, they, they like, do all of that. You, they do oh, all of yeah. that. You 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 basically tell you tell them where the airport is, what the runway is, and they land themselves. Wow. They do okay. everything yeah. to come in. It, the the it, only it thing a pilot fact, does is decide whether to abort. Hmm. Yeah. In, yeah. In, in actual fact, if the pilot and the co-pilot have passed out on the plane or whatever else are incapacitated, all of those are entered remotely from the tower. And the plane will still land safely. All right. Because it has happened. The point is, we've that, got more control over the runway. At the end of the day, an yes, airport... I understand that them being able to control it um, manually, you know, remotely. Not manually, remotely. It wasn't so much that it was programmed, it was something that they could control remotely. Not really. You can't no, really no, fly a plane remotely. The... You can you can tell it to fly itself remotely. Okay. Actually cool. flying yes. it remotely, planes are not... It's, it's, the, same, it's the same thing when we send... Um, the robots to Mars or something like that. That we don't control what happens with the robots on Mars no, from no. Earth, not directly, because the time delay is too long. I mean, yeah. it can be several, it can be um, uh, up to an hour when the Mars is on the opposite side. Yeah, no, that's a different um, situation. That's that's that's. Hmm. that's it's the same principle, as you think. So we have, but it's well, the I same did, principle. Did, we, we, I, tell I the exactly. we tell the computer what it's got, what we want it to do, and it mm -hmm. calculates all the correct things. It, it mm -hmm. has a. AI system that it can right. figure out the best way to do what we've asked it to do. And it's the same. We, we are really good at writing specific AIs to do specific tasks. What we're not good at is at writing AIs that do everything we do. Mm. But driving a car, flying a plane, moving a robot around a foreign planet is a specific task, and we are very good at writing it. And those AIs do that job better than we can because we're human and we get distracted and they are AIs and they do not. Bill, not here. Bill. Yeah, I'm. I'm. To be honest, I'm pretty much down with it. I think it would definitely improve road safety. Mm. Yeah, I really do. Excellent, Manda. Oh, she might have gone for more drink. She fell asleep. She fell asleep. <laughs> no, I think she might have gone to get more drink. No, I had figure to figure out run. how to open her bottle. I had to run downstairs really quick. I'm sorry. I That's didn't okay. Get a question now. Uh. Right, question is, how do you feel about cars becoming fully autonomous and having no steering wheels, brakes, or accelerators? No. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with that. The main reason I'm not is because I'm a driver. I like to drive. But your like kids, it. our huh? kids, are not. Right, I mean, right. our, the, the funny thing is, is our I'm kids are going to be the In last the kids that have a driving license. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. The, the liking uh, thing is different as well, though, isn't it? I mean, I, I also like to drive, even mm. though I can't do it anymore because I can't get insured. But that's not the point. Like the liking thing is is different to the uh, mm. to the. Uh, I mean, once we have yeah. reliable autonomous cars, I don't think anyone. I think people, everyone, are going to struggle to get insurance. Yeah, yeah, because yes. well, insurance companies are only going to want to have automatic cars. Yep. But you'll still be able to drive, Sal. There will be places where people can go and enjoy older vehicles and drive them. Yeah, I, I honestly think that um, the electric cars and fully automated cars will basically do for the petrol car what the petrol car did for the horse. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Pe petrol cars will become luxury, um, fun definitely. items rather than actual work items, work rather than tools. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Look, I'm still ticked off that 2015 has come and gone and we still don't have flying cars. So <laughs> yes. Tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it. Well, yeah, technically, we could. We would be flying by now. <laughs> but, no, no we, technically, we could, but we come down to the same problem that we have with cars on the ground. We have people too many wipers driving. Drive. We, have, we have people are effectively crap at driving. Mm. The, the majority of people are not good at it. We have shit tons of accidents. And that's dri that's when we have coping with two dimensions. When you fly, you've got to cope with three dimensions. Yeah. Right. And, and all of a sudden, you've significantly increased the complexity of, of that. That's why so few people have pilot's licenses. Mm. 
So the only way we're going to have flying cars is to automate it all. Mm. Would a right. car have to fly really high to fly, or could it stay lower to the ground? There are various ways of flying that would depend uh, that you would have to to model. Have it? You know, I don't think we're ever going to have a flying car that is as you imagine. Right. Right. Because you either need to make the car lighter with a some sort of magic anti gravity thing that we haven't got, make it lighter mm -hmm. with some sort of lifting gas, which makes it mm -hmm. bigger mm -hmm. substantially, uh, or you, then you go the other way up to helicopters, which require massive problems with ground effect and being anywhere near the ground. Um, yeah, and not to then you've got the fuel on those boats. Yeah, the fuels, and then you go with planes where you need speed to um, mm -hmm. to generate lift. Yeah, I I don't see any real point in us doing flying cars unless we come oh. up with a, a, a version of anti gravity that actually works, so yeah. that you can do it nicely. Yeah. Because the, the fuel efficiency of having wheels on the ground is actually pretty good yeah. compared to most of the other ways well, we can make floating the, vehicles. It's, it's, it's in propulsion as well. Propulsion a lot yeah. when you can yeah. use the friction to propel yourself, which is basically yeah. what we do with cars. We grip the ground yeah. and pull push ourselves forward with it, yeah. as opposed to the air, where much, all you can do yeah, is that's try that's and blow it. Had, if, the, if we had flying cars, how high would they have to fly? Because like every time they represent them, they're pretty high up. Like you're you're if that shit just shuts off, you're plummeting to your death. <laughs> but you need. Uh, that, it, I think we're more likely to get personal airships. Yeah. Than we yeah. are to get. Need to have that kind of traffic that high up. It's Personal just... helicopters. Well, it, yeah. It, it's too much uh, fuel. It's not much of a problem. Like I said, if it's if it's all automatically controlled, um, the heights of them isn't necessarily an issue because the computer systems would control exactly what height they needed to fly at, so they all didn't prey into each other. So but but the problem you you've have got reasonable height because of noise. Yes. Noise would be the issue. Well, apart from that, you could go with a massive cable system. Which would technically That's be flying. So aggravated. Yeah, no. <laughs> See, so, I mean, Sarah from Hyde says it. With flying cars, you have to keep in mind that most humans are idiots. I mean, that's, to be honest, <laughs> exactly. that's the problem with cars. At the end of the day, most people that are driving are not paying attention to driving. Mm -hmm. That's why I honestly think that uh, the automated vehicles will definitely improve road safety. Oh, they will. Definitely. I mean, if we can yeah. switch to all automated cars tomorrow, we, would there be virtually no deaths? And especially if we yeah, actually the planned roads around would be, would be The dick. only deaths would be stupid people. People who got in their old-fashioned car and tried to drive it amongst all the automatic roads. Yeah. And people who walked out in the middle of the road in front of a car. And the best yeah. thing is, the best thing is, the best thing, if we, when we go to autonomous cars, speed becomes not a problem. We, oh, can, no, go we can go 200 miles an hour. Because all the yep. cars are in sync and can slow down in the time scale. You don't need the stop. You, as much as you need the overall stopping distance, the train of cars don't. And, see, and you would the, there, no longer have traffic jams. Well, therein lies the true conspiracy because, you know, most states get their funding between traffic violations and drug busts. So now, if they're not stopping vehicles to search their cars because they were speeding, they're going to lose a lot of funding. Uh, they get it on licensing. Mm. There, there, there's no way a, a government's going to lose out on its money. It would swap it from yeah, fines and. Oh, don't forget, you're also losing the oil tax <laughs> revenues as well, because they'll be electric. But what they were just, yeah. <laughs> but what they were just saying, uh, you know, our great, our grandchildren, great grandchildren might not have licenses. No, I don't. because these, you know, the, <laughs> these vehicles are automated. Yeah. So they're gonna. You, I mean, you're right. They're gonna have to find it somewhere, but. These greedy bastards would, are going to find. They're going to give you a license to own the vehicle. I reckon, in the much yeah. like much like we pay road tax in the UK, you would still have some sort of tax or yes. license mm. yes. to own the vehicle itself. But I don't think most people would own a vehicle. Well, why would you own a vehicle if there could be one outside your house every time you wanted it? Right. Yeah, you, you'd be paying rentals and stuff like that, and That's then it'd be the gotta, companies paying tax on money. the vehicles. You're gonna pay the upkeep of all that system, so you're gonna pay for it. Oh yeah, no, no, you're gonna pay for it. I just don't think it's gonna be. I don't. I think personal. It was came up yesterday. Things that we or the other day. Things that we think are gonna be archaic, and I think personal car yeah. ownership is going to be archaic. Yeah, I 100% agree with you there, Dave. And and I think there'll be cars for specific things. Like a lot of the um, back back area streets are going to be smaller and the smaller. Yeah. I'd be cars so much better though, wouldn't it? They're going to be tired. I mean, tired I've got a four by four. Because I sometimes need a 4x4. Yeah. Okay, the joys That's of living I mean where I live. Say that, um, 
that's what I mean when I say that cars are going to become like horses. Yes. Like the, the ownership of them. That's what, that's yeah. What I saw. But I mean, I would much yeah. prefer to be able to get the car that I wanted. You know, my 4x4 yeah, is a pain sure. in the ass 90% of the time. Right? But because I need to be able to lug two or three ton boats, I need a vehicle that can do that. Tell me it's a Land Rover or a Range Rover. Nissan Patrol. Yeah. Okay, all right. That's not... Okay, Nissan Patrol is acceptable. And it's that's an old Nissan answer. Patrol. <laughs> Rather than yeah, the... That's an acceptable answer. Luxury Nissan later Patrol. <laughs> the only acceptable answers really are Land Rover, Range Rover, Nissan Patrol or a Toyota Hilux. I did think about a Toyota. I mean, to be honest, I would if I could have got a Defender that was new at the time, I would have got a Defender. But they... Love Defenders, dude. Yes, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> but they're basically collector's pieces now. I'll have to, uh, later on, I will uh, I'll give you the um, web address to my friend's internet business. They are Rover V8 specialists. Literally, all they do is customise Rover V8s all day, every day. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Yes, I'll tell you what I did, <laughs> yeah, for, I'll tell you what I did for Rover later. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, right, question two. Did um... the dog appreciate it? What? Dave. What you did for Rover, did the dog appreciate it? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here.